Have you ever pulled an amazing espresso and then you went and diluted it for an Americano and it just doesn't taste good anymore? Well, it's probably the water that you're using. And that's why today I want to show you a drink that I've been loving, 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 and that is the distilled water Americano. There's a lot of nerd stuff regarding water chemistries and I'll cover water chemistry and stuff. I know some of you guys are very, very particular about the water chemistry you use, but the simple logic behind this is instead of diluting using water that could have weird properties in it that could ruin your beautifully pulled espresso, just use distilled water, which doesn't have anything in it. Basically, if you have a tasty espresso and you dilute it using distilled water, your overall drink will still be tasty. And that's just the simplest way to explain the distilled water Americano. Here's how you make it. So pull your amazing espresso. I tend to like one to two, some of that stronger, more intense espressos because the flavors seem to last a bit more when they're spread out and diluted. And how I dilute that is I just put the distilled water in my kettle and I heat it up to about 150 to 190 degrees, depending on how hot I want my water to be. I'll just then pour the heated distilled water into my espresso and that's my drink. You can even put that in a cup and then pull directly into it. And if you wanted to make it iced, I actually really, really like this iced, is just put some distilled water into the fridge, pull your espresso into that, or add the espresso into your cold water. And if you want to go above and beyond, what you can do is freeze distilled water into ice cubes and then use that for your iced Americanos. I like to dilute anywhere from one to five, all the way up to one to 10. I like to keep that ratio a little bit tighter just because I want some intensity in my drinks here. I also keep the crema in my espresso for Americanos. Simply put, I kind of like the little bit of bitterness that you get from the crema in the aftertaste. And of course that's gonna depend on coffee and whatnot. Uh, but it really gives me more texture in my cup. And because you're building higher pressures for your espressos, like six to nine bars, basically, you're going to get that crema and it's going to just be there in your drink. And that's really what makes the distilled water Americano much different to something like the Sprover. I would say the Sprover and distilled water Americano both have very, very clear presentation of flavor notes, but the texture at least when you sip them, is a bit different. Of course, it depends on how much you dilute in the distilled water Americano, but I just really like that both of those drinks taste distinctly different, and they're, of course, long ratio. I also think it's kind of fun to play around with some of those really short ratio. Pull 18 grams in, 36 out, and just dilute 18 grams. It's like, just dilute up to 54 grams. I've actually been really enjoying diluting up to 90 grams, just doing like a one to five dilution ratio. It tastes actually really good. And that's kind of interesting to taste like a one to five pulled shot versus a one to five diluted shot. I would even experiment with doing like one to 10 pulling Sprovers. Like it's just very interesting to see how the coffee changes. Another thing to add is like some people have difficulties with pulling long, like figuring out how to dial in their espresso for a long ratio, like one to five. It might just be easier for you to dial in a one to two and then dilute to one to five instead. I've kind of been really enjoying that. I'd kind of just pull 18 grams in, 36 out, and then I dilute to 90 grams instead of figuring out like going coarse and going crazy and trying to dial in a one to five 90 gram shot. What's really fun with this drink is experimentation with the amount you dilute here. No matter how much you dilute, although there is probably a limit, it's probably always going to taste pretty good as long as your base espresso is dialed in. You can just keep that one to two espresso dialed in for your milk-based drinks, for your straight espresso. And then for this drink, you can just kind of be like, if I want something less intense, I just add more water. If I want something more intense, I add less water. And it's so straightforward to do. And it's a very flexible drink to work with. And it's always, in my opinion, going to taste pretty good. Sometimes those one to two espressos and even one to threes are just a little too intense for me. And I want to actually be able to taste the flavor notes. And I want something that's more intense than a pour over and has much more impact than something like a Sprover. And that's why I like Americanos. The thing with Americanos though, is that it kind of matters what water you're diluting it with. So that's it, just a quick video. I really like this drink. It's super fun to play around with different dilution ratios. And again, I wanna shout out my friend Fam for showing me this drink. And that's all I wanna show off today. So thank you for spending the time to watch the video. I will see you around.